Hey guys, it's Miriam Florio. Now that it's 2018, it's a great time to visit your data inside of Dynamics 365 and give your sales team the task of marking records with insufficient information. So today we're gonna to be going inside of Dynamics 365, adding a field in order to mark the records that need more information, and then creating a dashboard to view the records that need more information and then show you what happens afterwards. So I'm logged into Dynamics 365 right now. And the first thing that we're gonna be doing is adding a field that we can add to the account entity. So I'm just gonna go under settings and then customizations and customize the system. Under entities, I'm going to select account and then expand that entity and go to fields. So we'll click on new to add the new field. You wanna make sure you have system customizer rights, otherwise you won't be able to get to this portion of the system and you won't be able to perform this task. So now that we're in the new field for account, we're just gonna give the field a name and we'll call it insufficient information. So just give it any kind of meaningful name, we'll call it We'll make the field optional and it's, the system's gonna automatically give it its own name that it will save to the database. We'll take the defaults at the top of the screen and then we're gonna go down to the data type and change this to two options, yes or no. So we'll leave it the way it is, simple. And simply save and close. So now we'll be creating the field in the background. We'll publish this change and we'll add it to a form. Go ahead and click on Publish All Customizations. And what we'll do in order to add the field to the account is we'll actually go to an account in the system and we'll add it that way. Now that's not to say that you can't add it directly from this back end by clicking on forms. I just happen to personally like adding the fields directly onto the page on the fly so that I can see the field in real life once I've added it and make sure it looks good the way I have it. So we're gonna go ahead and X out of this customizations window and you can use your recent list to go to a recent account in the system. And now that I'm in this account and I have system customizer rights, you're gonna see a button that says form at the top. So I'll click on that. And we'll go ahead and select our field on the right. Now notice that I've clicked on filter and changed it to custom fields. You don't have to do that. But the nice thing about changing that to custom fields is I actually don't have to sift through all the system fields. I, rather, I can see just the fields I've added that don't exist on the form. It's faster that way. So I'll select insufficient information and we'll go ahead and just drag this onto the account. We'll put it anywhere. Let's put it right by the account name, just so it's front and center. And I'm just gonna zoom out a little here into the field properties. So we'll just make sure that the field properties are the way we want them. We'll make it visible by default, available on the phone. Those seem to be good. And the second option here on formatting is the control formatting. Now, if you'd like to have a yes, no option on the field, go ahead and leave it the way that it is in the list form by selecting list. You could also make it a checkbox, which I find is easy or easier, or there are two radio buttons, one that would say yes and one that would say no. I like checkboxes. They seem to be simpler to handle for users. One click and they're all set. So let's go ahead and click on okay. 
And now that we've made the changes to the form and we're satisfied with those changes, we'll go ahead and save this. Once it's saved, we will publish the changes. Perfect, so here is our new field called insufficient information. We could play around with this form and make it a little bit wider. If you're using the 2017 update, probably won't have this problem of getting the data cut off here. I'm not gonna be playing around with the aesthetics of the form right now, but you could go back into the form and change some of the widths around to make that fit or make the field name shorter. So now that I have the field added, you can see there's a nice checkbox here. As my account managers and my sales team go through records, we can always tell the users by sending them an email, letting them know when you go through your accounts, if you find any accounts that seem like they need email addresses or some kind of um, update to the records that aren't completely clear, it can't be done by search, um, but just by looking, we can go make sure that the users go through and verify the information on the accounts. And if they find one that they need to either circle back on themselves or that maybe another team needs to go through to update, they can simply click on the checkbox. So we'll use that checkbox in order to make a view of records that have the insufficient information checked on them. So let's do that now. So we're gonna to go to our handy advanced find. So you can do this as an advanced find or you can go in the back end and create this as a view. Remember, if a user creates their own view, they can share it with other users. If we create the view from the back end, then that could be a system administrator view. So it really depends on how you want to accomplish it um, and what you want to do with that view later. Keep that in mind. If you want to be safe, better safe than sorry, then go ahead and go under customization and then create the view from the back end. I'm just going to be creating this for myself and maybe for a couple other team members. So I'll create it through advanced find. So we're going to look for accounts. Remember we added the field to the account entity. So we're going to select that as the entity. And instead of using a saved view, we're going to be clicking on new. So now that we've added the field, we're simply going to look for the field that we've added, which is insufficient information. So this is the filter. So look for accounts where insufficient information equals, and we're going to say it's checked. So we'll say yes. Selected values. Yes. Okay. So that's really our only filter there, which is nice. Let's take a look at the columns that get returned. So the list that will get returned to us, and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute if you're unsure what we're doing here, you are allowed to select the columns that you see. So we can see the account name, the primary contact, the main phone. Let's add a couple more columns to this. That might be helpful for the users. Let's go ahead and add the city. We'll also add in the fax number. So really whatever's relevant to you that you want to see at a glance. And this may also include certain fields that you're requiring your sales team or other users to populate. Okay, so we'll just select the owner and those fields. And as you can see, if I scroll over, they're there. So what this looks like, I'll click okay and I'll show you. So now that we've created this view, we haven't saved it yet. Let's take a look at the results. So this is exactly what we expected. We created a field. We marked one record ABC skiing jams as having insufficient information. And now that's the only result here. These are the columns that we selected in our view. So if you wanted to change these or change the order of the columns, you'd go back to the previous tab, the advanced find and click edit columns. So now that we've created this view, it's perfect for us. Let's go ahead and save it. And we're going to call it, we're going to give it a meaningful name. So we'll call it accounts with insufficient info. Good enough. Click save. And we can close this up. So how do we get to this? Well, now that we've created the view, we could add the view to our dashboards if we wanted. We could just simply look at it directly from our account views. So I'm going to go to sales and accounts. And in this drop down, now that I've created my own user view, you can see that there is under my views accounts with insufficient info. And this would be a great thing for maybe certain users to check on a regular basis in order to see which accounts need to be updated. So now that we have access to this, 
um, or whoever needs to have access to this can get into this view. They can then go through, click on the accounts that have insufficient information, go through, update the values. So maybe that is putting in the fax number, if you use those a lot, and updating other information. So once the information is updated, the users can simply uncheck insufficient information, and this account would fall off the list of accounts that need a follow-up or a to-do on them. So we're gonna go back to accounts. And you can see here, now that we've updated that record and unchecked the box, that account no longer shows as a to-do or record that needs to be updated with better information. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can update your records with your sales team and possibly other temporary employees involved in order to get your CRM information up to date. Thanks for joining me. Join me next time for more tips on Dynamics 365.